Good afternoon, Sunday, May the 2nd, 2021, and this is the English language summary of the daily press briefing here at the CCSA. So I'll start first with the number of confirmed cases we have recorded for today. 1,940 is the number we recorded for today, a little bit lower than 2,000, very good to hear. Out of this number, 1,788 cases are from local transmission, 142 from active case finding, and 10 cases from within the state quarantine system. We have new recoveries recorded at 1,183, which is, we have less recoveries than new confirmed cases, basically. Basically, uh, 1,001 plus recoveries compared to 1,900 plus uh, new confirmed cases. In any case, we have active cases now standing at 29,481. There are 954 cases currently treated, but in critical condition, 954. And out of this number, 270 cases are on ventilators. We have for today recorded, unfortunately, 21 new fatalities, making the cumulative number of fatalities at 245. The fatalities, just a breakdown for you, 12 male and 9 female. Age range is 34 to 88, and the median age is 66. In Bangkok, there were eight fatalities. In Chiang Mai, four. Two each in Chonburi and Lampoon, and one each in Nakhon Patom, Tak, Rayong, Nakhon Sawan, and Udon Thani. And more than half of the fatalities that were infected were from close contact with confirmed cases, especially family members. Two cases are bedridden patients who were infected from care workers. And in terms of the provinces of, with the highest number for today, in the Thai language uh, edition, you would see a chart, a scoreboard type of thing, but a chart uh, to tally each province. But in the English language version, we recap the top 10 for you uh, in the various provinces that have the highest number of new confirmed cases. Bangkok, 539. Nontaburi, 276. Samut Prakan, 145. Chonburi, 89. Patum Thani, 62. And the rest, as you see in detail on screen. So just some observations from the briefing just now, that more than half of the New confirmed cases are detected in Bangkok, and most from family members, a uh, new cluster from in Khlong Thai. The BMA will continue to conduct active case uh, findings. Now, we have received information also from Provincial Communicable Disease uh, Control Committee, which indicate that each province has different high-risk venues. So, for example, in Nontaburi, there are a high number of cases related to daycare centers and conference venues, while in Samut Prakan, more cases are related to markets, gyms, and internet cafes. Now, this information is forwarded to the respective provincial administration to allow the authorities to adequately tailor the disease control measures for each province. The Department of Disease Control reveals that 76% of deaths uh, were infected from family members, colleagues, and friends. So we urge all of you to continue with the strict measures that we have. On active case finding in Bangkok, the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration and Ministry of Public Health plan to conduct more active case findings in various areas around Bangkok. So as the health Ministry aims to reduce the number of persons infected in Bangkok to be lower than hopefully 400 per day. One of the key measures is to detect an infected person as early as possible in order to isolate the case and prevent them from spreading the virus to their family members and also to notify the close contact persons and their community to break the chain of infection. Therefore, the BMA will administer more than 7,000 active case findings during the next five days, starting on May the 3rd or tomorrow. The City Hall aims to test 
1,800 people in target districts tomorrow, followed by 400 on Tuesday, 2,000 on Wednesday, 1,600 on Thursday, and another 1,400 on Friday as areas of operation are showing, as, as shown on the screen, the, the specific areas of, of operation, the districts. The health ministry also deploys mobile testing units. They also deployed that in Tupa Temi Stadium in Batum Thani province with the capacity of testing 1,000 people per day. Mm -hmm. Those who live in surrounding areas can receive the tests from today until the 15th of May. And according to the number of COVID-19 infected persons in Bangkok, which is still high, the BMA plans to establish another field hospital, the Shalom Prakiat Sports Center in Tung Kru District to cope with the situation. The new field hospital will use four gymnasiums and two buildings for male patients and another two separate buildings for female patients. It can accommodate up to 400 beds. And this field hospital will use the same transfer system as other BMA field hospitals and admit only asymptomatic patients. Expected to officially open for service on the 5th of May 2021, this coming week. So thank you very much for your attention. Please continue practicing DMHTT, and we'll see you again next time. Sorry, Kap.